Hello, welcome to Akosia's blog. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare chicken shawarma. Do you know that shawarma is a popular street food from the Middle East? And Ghanaians have also learned to love this food a lot. Well, you can prepare it in the house instead of buying it outside. To begin with, you would need some potatoes, as I love to put fries in my shawarma. You would need some sliced marinated chicken. This is already cooked. And then some tortilla wraps. You need lots of vegetables. I have carrots, minced bell peppers, some minced onions, spinach, lettuce, and then spring onions as well. I love pepper food, so I would need some taco sauce, some jalapeno, avocado, honey mustard, my tomato ketchup, and then my mayonnaise as well. All right. To begin with, we would have to fry our potatoes. I've already put oil in my deep fryer and heated it. You drop the potatoes inside the hot oil. Be careful not to burn yourself. Cover it and then move on to the next. Don't forget to be checking it once in a while. Now I will turn on my stove and put my frying pan on it. Remember, you don't have to get all the newest or modern gadget to prepare this particular food. You can use whatever you have in your kitchen to do this. First of all, you will have to put oil in your heated pan. But then I love to put butter in my pan because it gives it another flavor. You take just a little for the chicken. You drop it inside the frying pan to melt it. Remember, chicken has lots of oil, so you will need just little butter to supplement it. You wait for the oil to melt inside the pan. Once it's melt, you add your marinated sliced chicken. You stir it for a while. Now we would need a golden brown color to be able to continue the next process. And this is going to take roughly five to seven minutes. Don't forget to also check up on your potatoes at this stage. Once the golden brown color is achieved, we would be setting it aside. All right, let's check on our potato fries as well. All right, this is the color I'll be going for. 
if you want it softer please don't make it golden brown but i prefer my fries crispier you set the chicken aside and then continue your shawarma now i will be preheating my bread or the tortilla wraps my pan is small if you have a bigger one you can use it you move on to the next and then you preheat all the flat breads in fact i didn't know that you can do this in the house because i've been spending money almost every weekend to eat this particular food and then i decided to learn how to prepare it so to make the sauce i use my taco sauce jalapeno avocado my mustard honey my ketchup and then my mayonnaise as well i really do love mayonnaise so i make sure to add plenty to the sauce this is the trick to get that shawarma taste kindly add enough tomato ketchup and then you stir it you can taste for salt but then if you're not okay with the salt kindly add just a little Once this is done, we start making our shawarma. The bread is already cooked, so you don't need to preheat it for very long. At least a minute or two should be fine. Now I sprinkle salt on my fries and then take my sauce. You can decide to do it this way or you add your veggies and then top it up with the sauce. You add your chicken, your veggies, And then you add your potato chips as well. You don't need to add plenty as it will make it bulky and then it will start tearing up. I love hot pepper so I sprinkle some chili flakes on it. and then begin to wrap it. Now here is the trick. You fold the wraps on its side like I'm doing and then you flip it over once or twice. And that is that. Our pan was already on low heat so I'll just put it inside the pan like this and then do another one. I would be repeating the same process again. Okay. 
you add your chicken, your veggies, your chips, and then you begin to fold it. If you don't like pepper too, you just omit it like I did here. Ta -da! And that is that. Now you would have to get any flat lid and then be pressing it on your shawarma. You flip it over and then you are done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. You can eat your shawarma with any drink of your choice. Bye bye. Hmm. <sighs>